Ajay Jodgi. Today we are going to demonstrate IoT based weather monitoring system. It will be measuring the atmospheric temperature, relative humidity, visibility and location with the latitude and longitude using the GPS receiver. Before we start a demonstration, we shall discuss what is an IoT. Now we shall see what is an IoT. IoT is nothing but Internet of Things. It is basically consisting of a client and a server. Basically it is a client and server communication using the TCP IP. Okay. So we shall see what is my server. Server is nothing but a socket program. In our application we shall be taking a application or a software called a socket test. Okay. And the client in our case will be a GPRS modem. Okay. So basically what happens a client will be connecting to the server through the TCP IP connection. For this purpose we must know public IP of my server. Okay, Using this public IP server my client can be connected to the server. Now uh, this is all about the IoT. IoT is simply a client and server communication uh, which is carried out using the TCP IP connection. For this purpose we need a public IP. Now uh, what is the application of IoT? Suppose in our case we are going to measure uh, atmospheric temperature, we are going to measure the light, we are going to measure the relative humidity in percentage and the location using the GPRS. Normally we do this without IoT also but as soon I connect this microcontroller to the client or to the GPRS modem, this client will gather all the information from my microcontroller and it will put on my TCP IP link and that can be sent to the server. Okay, Server is nothing but a socket program which will receive all this information and that will be displayed on this PC. Now the reverse procedure is also possible if my server needs to send some data you can send the data from the server the same data will travel through the TCP IP and that can be given to the client and next the client will be sending this data to the microcontroller. So this is all about the IoT. Okay, so we shall discuss the hardware first. This is my LPC2138 microcontroller as, a, as we have seen in a block diagram. Uh, this is my GPRS modem. This is behaving like a, a client here. Okay, and this is my USB to TTL converter. Okay, this is used to input the public IP of my server. Okay, so this is my uh, 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 RS-232 connectivity. If I need to connect this directly through to the PC, I can use this. And uh, if I go to this, this is my LM35. It is a temperature sensor. This is my light sensor. It is an LDR. This is HS1101. This is my relative humidity sensor. And this is my GPS receiver, which shall give me the latitude and longitude. So this is all about the hardware. So basically microcontroller will read all the sensors, temperature sensor, relative uh, uh, light sensor, relative humidity sensor and it will get the information from the GPS receiver and it will make a packet and this information will be sent to the client that is nothing but a GPRS modem using a serial port. Okay, And from this it will be sending this information on a TCP IP link. So this is all about the hardware. Now what we need at uh, the software end. Now you can see this is my COM port 1 configured at board at 9600. Okay. So here uh, I have connected this terminal has been connected to the uh, GPRS modem that is nothing but a client. I can check what is the response of my client. Okay. And here we have one more uh, serial port that is COM 16. Here I am supposed to input the public IP of my server. Okay. Now uh, one more laptop or PC we need my server basically here we have my server but uh, before I start my server I must know what is a public IP of my uh, internet or my server. Okay, Here if you just type in a chrome my IP address you can see my public IP of server is 219.64.165.222 now if you know this just you minimize this and you run a server that is socket test double click on this and you click on a server and here you are supposed to mention the 
port number that is 747 using this port number it will start listening the clients now you just click on a start listening okay so as soon i start my hardware it will ask me for the public ip so i am supposed to input the public ip so once i put the public ip this is the response we can see this is the response from my uh, gprs model okay it is being uh, carrying out its uh, procedure for connecting through tcp ip okay So these are the different commands that are used for uh, IoT. Now the connection has been established. We shall move to the server. You can see that the new client has been connected to the server. Okay. You can see this. Now we have to wait for a little more time so that we can see the uh, input from the sensors and GPS receiver. Okay, so my temperature is 28 degree, relative humidity is 40%, visibility is 53%, latitude and longitude you can see. Okay, now as soon I change, I, if I want to change the reading, I can just rise my temperature by heat to the LM35. Okay, now you can see the variation, just move to the server, you can see change in temperature. Now it must be more than 28 degree. we can wait for the second reading okay now you must have seen the temperature is now 37 okay it's 37 if I hit you the more it say it is 133 now if I want to vary the light okay I can expose my light sensor to the light I'm exposing that sensor to the light using my uh, torch okay you can see the number visibility has to be changed now okay the visibility has been improved that has become now 51 and you can see this is my latitude and longitude this is all about the iot based weather monitoring thank you thank you very much